Hi everyone, welcome to the final video in this mini-series on an introduction to object-oriented programming in LabVIEW. In this video I want to introduce you to another topic of being able to dynamically choose which class to execute. So we have a camera class, a webcam class and a simulation class. But we don't know until runtime if we want the simulation class or the webcam class. This video is going to show you that we can load a class from file even after we start running our VI. So again, this video is just an introduction to loading a class from file. Um, so if you want a more detailed video about that, please let me know in the comments. But for now, let's have a look at our code. So as a test bench, I've already put out some of the methods like we saw in the previous video. Go, going to place down a camera selector VI. So what this camera selector will do is allow us to choose between different classes. But it's important to note that as you can see in this control, it's blank. This VI doesn't know until runtime what classes are available. If we have a look on the block diagram, Again, this is a very simplistic uh, view, and it's just intended as an overview. But we have one VI here, which is looking in a known uh, file uh, location for all files with a .lv class extension. From there, we can take those file names and throw them onto the front panel using a property node. The event structure here is waiting for the user to click OK and once that happens we do some formatting of the string and a path to uh, find the LV class we want to bring into memory. We can then load the selected class using the load default values from file uh, function. Now that's actually going to return the LabVIEW object class which is the ancestor class to all uh, classes in LabVIEW. So we need to make that more specific. So we're going to bring that down to the image acquisition class, which I've actually renamed from the camera class that we've been looking at in previous videos. So now let's have a look at uh, some of the other methods I created. So in the simulation class, we have get image. Now if I double click get image, on the block diagram, you'll see that a choose implementation dialog box has appeared. This is because we had a dynamic dispatch VI. So in the camera.lv class, and that's the parent class, we have a dynamic dispatch VI called getImage. Even in simulation and webcam class, we have a VI for override. So we are overriding getImage which is why it asks us to choose an implementation. If we double click the simulation.lv class get image vi, you will see that on the block diagram, we are loading an image from file and I'm using a ring technique here. So I'm actually going to be loading the images of 0.jpg, 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg, if then background to 0.jpg etc. So every time this VI is called, the next image that's in that file location is loaded and displayed to the user. Let's close that. And now let's just click the run arrow. So when we run this VI, we get a dialog box asking us to choose a camera. And look, it's been dynamically populated with webcam and simulation. So let's choose webcam, click OK, and now you can see me uh, waving. Apologies for the uh, lag. If we run this VI again, but this time instead of choosing webcam, we choose simulation and click OK you can see that the functionality has changed. 
And that's just one simple demonstration of the power of object-oriented programming. So now you know, whenever you're working with hardware and you don't have the hardware available, that's fine. You could create a simulation class. And when you do have the hardware available, you could create a hardware class. And you can simply choose between the two classes to load at runtime. I hope this mini um, object-oriented programming series has been uh, helpful to you. Um, if you would like more videos on any topic to do with LabVIEW, uh, please just let me know in the comments. If you have any feedback, it's the first time I've done this sort of thing. So again, leave that in the comments um, as well. Cheers everyone, catch you later.